Hey guys, so uh, another video. I wanted to make this video for anybody who feels kind of like giving up or like they've just been pushing so long and they're not getting the results they want, right? Um, especially like if you feel like you've been working hard and you feel like you're always just like right on the cusp of something, like you're seeing remnants or like small residue of what you want, but not exactly what it is. I know what that's like and I want to share a story with you. So in 1492, when Christopher Columbus came to discover the United States, the new world from Spain, he had been commissioned from, you know, I think it was Catherine at the time. No, it not, might not have been Catherine. It might have been Anna. But it was the Queen of Spain and the King of Spain and like the Spanish royal family. And they had given him all this money because they were finding gold in all the New World. And there was this uh, Portuguese guy. It hadn't quite happened yet, but he was going to come back. His name was uh, Da Gama. And he had all, he brought all this money from India. He brought so much money back. He basically paid for his expedition a thousand times over. And it was one of the most expensive ex expeditions in the world. So imagine paying someone like a million, like $10 million, or like what would be a really expensive expedition, like $250 million to go on an expedition to Mars. And they come back and they bring back so much wealth and so much stuff, it's the equivalent of like, 250 billion dollars like it's like not even that it's like 2.5 trillion dollars that's how much wealth the gamma brought back from india back into europe right so the spanish were trying to get that because the portuguese were just killing it after all that and the gamma had brought so much wealth back and that was being distributed over europe and they spent it foolishly but that's another day so why do i bring this up because you see other people winning you probably, maybe you go on social media, maybe you see other people like who have what you want. So for me, I spend a lot of time alone and I, I watch videos and I see people like have their families and you know, they have their friends and they just have all these people around them and they have this love, right? Like I go to movies alone, I go to restaurants alone, I'm traveling alone, like I'm just alone all the time and it's been that way for years. Like I've just been really, really alone and sometimes like it gets really sickening. And now I'm very happy being alone, but it's not like I prefer to be alone, but I've realized like, well, if I'm gonna make the most of it, and that's kind of like my attitude, but it really wears on me. So maybe you felt like this, and I'll meet associations or friends or people, but you see a lot of people just like, you're more of a guest star in their life. You're not really a main, you're not really a main deal in their life, and you feel like you're, I'm, I feel like I'm cast aside. So if you feel any of that with your goals, like maybe you're trying to get huge in the gym and you're trying to work out and you've plateaued or you're trying to jump, what I want to remind you is of is a story. So Christopher Columbus was comparing himself to Da Gama and he's trying to get that kind of wealth because, and actually the expedition might even have been afterwards because he had taken off, right? Um, and I don't know if Da Gama had come back yet. I actually could look up the the facts, and I'll put that there, but Diagamo is going to bring back all this wealth. So Christopher Columbus goes off, 1492, and he goes off to the New World, and they've put everything they have into this expedition, and it's a pretty big deal. So he's got all these people riding on him, really counting on him to bring back this money. Now, Wake, they got basically to the end and their stores in the, uh, the food stores and their rations in the boat were like nearly leveled out and completely empty. And they didn't have very much food left. And if they turned back, they'd basically be able to turn back and it would be like a damn near ghost ship if they turned back. And the crew were beginning to thinking about mutinying and they're like, man, we need to go back. And then Columbus was able to convince them to give him three more days. Now what happened is in that three days when he'd reached that point of no return, he saw a twig in the water. And that's really, really important because when he saw that twig in the water, he told them like, hey guys, if there's a twig in the water, that came from a tree. And where there's a tree, there's land. And that means we're close. So all the guys were like, because of a freaking twig, a little twig in the water, they kept going even after that three days. And then eventually, a week later, they hit land. 
and it was miserable. They were tired. They were like really like messed up, but they got to the new world. And then after that, you know, they go in, see all the Native American stuff, da 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 da. You know the story, right? But what's this point? What am, why am I telling you this? Maybe, you know, there's things you haven't quite gotten what you got wanted. So for me, I go and I see like people coupling by. I'm starting to like make sense. I feel like, I really feel like I got my purpose now, which was like a big thing. I always felt like I was kind of skirting around my purpose, but now I feel like very in tune. And personally, I feel like very locked in. But there's a lot of twigs in the water for me, but that's all they are, they're just twigs. They're not really land. And sometimes I get anxious. And maybe you're feeling that way too, where it just feels like you've been working so hard and for so long. But guys, remember, where there's twigs, there's land. And where there's land, there's prosperity and the wealth and everything that's gonna come with that. So if you feel like giving up and you're just kind of on your edge, Rather than looking for land off in the horizon and feeling like you're not doing well, really try to appreciate those small twigs in the water. Because those twigs in the water, that's what's going to point you towards land, right? Sometimes when we see the twig in water, we think, well, that's not what I want. Like maybe I have a date with a girl and it doesn't go well, or Maybe I have a good conversation with a friend where they call me, but you know, I don't get to call them for a week or whatever. And I feel like, oh man, like I'm still alone. Yeah, like it's not land. It's not what you want. And we don't have to pretend it's what you want. And we don't have to settle for anything less. However, it's important to be grateful for the twigs and the leaves because they're what's pointing us to where we need to go. That's what's pointing us to who we want to be and the life we want to live. And so sometimes, even when if you feel like giving up and like nothing's working out, if you just are mindful of the twigs in the water, you'll find land and you'll find your place home. And whatever you're looking for, you'll find it. Just keep going, don't give up. Just believe in your purpose, believe in the direction you set, and land will be right where you least expect it. All right, that's the message for the day. Just wanted to say that, guys. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't give up on your dreams because they will never give up on you. Take care.